I'm Kevin James Simmons, and you're watching Disney Channel. Now I'm playing. I play too much. So we gotta set the scene. Let's get after it. You wanna learn how to write a note in less than three minutes? Let's do it. So we gotta set the scene. We're gonna work on three goals. The first goal is identification. So looking at colors, got that one right, got that one right. Mmm, did not get that one right. So we're going to put that in our data. Remember that for later. Next, we're gonna work on following directions. This is the second goal that we're targeting. All right, just trying to plant that scene, okay, so that we can later on write up the notes. And working on that, providing cues. All right, so min, mod, max, cues, trying to separate that and um, document that. And then the last goal is we're gonna work on articulation. Okay, so the TH sound, um, just giving us something to work with, all right? And we're gonna write up these three goals in less than three minutes, okay? All right, so get your stopwatch out and let's get after it. All right, boom. So who put that there? Never mind. We are going to get straight to it. So the S portion is the subjective that describes how the patient came in. How do they feel? What did the parents say about doing AGP at home? So the S portion I have is Kevin Jr. was seen at the Singing SLP LLC for speech and language services targeting receptive and expressive language skills. He was accompanied by his mother and father. He appeared in good spirits. His parents mentioned to the treating therapist that Kevin Jr. has had some difficulty with the TH sound at the conversation level. We have the O, we're gonna skip over that. So that's the objective portion. That's where you just put the data. So you're going to go into detail with the assessment portion. This is where you talk about each goal that we worked on. We worked on three goals, talk about improvement, maybe the more support that the patient needed. So for my A, I had Kevin Jr. had a good session. Within structured and unstructured play activities, Kevin Jr. identified basic concepts within a field of two with 65% accuracy, given minimal visual prompting to support identification. He benefited from minimal gestural support to respond to simple directives within immediate environment with greater than 60% accuracy. Continued to make good progress with directives. His greatest strength was production of TH at the word level with 86% accuracy given minimal verbal and visual cues to support sound production. These goals were targeted to improve expressive and receptive language skills. Therapeutic strategies and techniques discussed. Then the P is planning. So we're going to plan to continue this plan of care. And we're going to address the TH sound at the sentence and conversational levels just because we want to get that consistency. And that, my friends, is how you write a note in less than three minutes. All right. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.